Hi everyone, today is January the 5th, 2021, and this is Dr. Fryer, and I'm gonna show you in this video some ways that you can save a Seesaw video and you can add it to Book Creator because we're using Book Creator for our final projects this year in our Spanish class. So I'm gonna go here to Seesaw and I've actually copied over a few projects by some different students. And I'm gonna go to a video like this one that has been uploaded and saved to Seesaw. So this isn't a link that's going off to, to Google Drive. This is actually up, uploaded. And so I'm going to save this. So I'm going to do it by going to the bottom right corner here and clicking on the three dots. And then I'm going to choose save. Now this is actually, um, in this case, going to download a zip file and it's going to be .zip. And so on your Chromebook, you're going to want to show this in a folder and you're going to have to um, let me see what happens when I double click this. Yeah, you're going to double click this and it actually makes it like it, it looks like it's a USB drive. Um, but you see this file right here, that is the video file, which is, which is inside the zip. Okay. So I can now go ahead and put this, you know, into my book creator project. So I'm going to go here to book creator and I'm going to go ahead and open up my book. I need to go to the page. Um, and this one is actually, I think, the puppet video. And so I'll go here to my puppet video, and it says insert the video. So I'm going to click on plus, and I'm going to choose import. And now I need to get it from my computer. And so that's going to be from files because I've downloaded it to my computer. And so over here on the side, I have this little icon that says collection.zip. And that is where the video is. It's like inside, it's a bit, kind of a folder, uh, but it's a compressed file and that's the video. And so now I can open it. So that file is going to upload to Seesaw and it's gonna take a little while depending upon how big the video is and also um, how, um, how fast your internet connection is. Um, once it's all finished, it's going to stop spinning here and it's going to be playable and I can resize it and I'll be able to cover up this over here in purple. While that's uploading, you don't want to close this window. You want to just leave this open, uh, but you can go ahead and um, put some sentences in to describe it. So you can uh, edit this on the same page. So I'll say, um, we created a dialogue using some of the characters from Moana and recorded a puppet uh, puppet show. Or we could say a puppet dialogue or whatever you want to say. All right, so that's just a little bit about the project, okay? So it is still processing here. Again, you don't want to um, leave this you don't want to leave this um, screen, I don't think, because I think it's actually still uploading. It has to move from your computer to the book creator website. You, We could go to a different tab and we can just leave this tab open, but um, we're not going to want to close this tab until that finishes, okay? So while that is still going, let's take a look at another video um, to show you another kind of example because every every project is not gonna be quite the same. Um, here's an example of our photo scavenger hunt. And this, um, again, I've copied some other students who have completed this to just show as an example. The process is gonna be the same. You're, I'm gonna click here and choose save. This is going to download as, an, again, a zip, file. It's going to be called collection. And this is the second one. So this is called collection one. And when you double click it on your Chromebook, it's going to open it. You can see in this case, it has all the pictures from that slideshow. But then here's the video that I want to put in. This is the dot MP4. And you can see over here under the type that it says that's a video. So when I go back here to my book, um, I can, I, I think it's probably safe. Huh? Oh, I'm going to have to finish my recording. Um, you're going to insert it the same way. Okay. So I've got to wrap this up because my five minutes on Screencastify free account is finished. So I hope that was helpful to you. Good luck. Let me know if you have questions.